My name's Jordy Johnson. My name's Grumpy Jesse, and this is Carving Fusion by Jordy Johnson. See ya. Peekaboo. Hey guys, hope everybody's doing good. So before I start uh, carving today, or talking about wood carving, well, I just want to give a shout out to one of my uh, subscribers and a friend now on Facebook and Instagram. His name's uh, Kevin Meyer, and uh, he made this for me on his uh, scroll saw, guys. Look at the cuts in there. Look at all the little deep, crazy little deep cuts in the trees and stuff. He's even got my little fish on there. And he did this uh, frame in Lynchburg, too. So, but he made this for me as a gift for uh, just saying thanks for all the work that I do. And he sent it to me. He even paid the shipping. So, Kev, you know, like, there will be a nice carving coming back one one day. You just got to give me some time because I want to send you something real nice, Kev. But uh, I just want to say thanks, man. And uh, I absolutely love it. And it will be on my all my uh, live feeds too. So because that's where you see the background is my live feed. You're kind of looking at this area here too. So um, you guys, his Facebook channel is uh, Signature Wood Creations. And same on Instagram. So if you want to check him out, he does some really cool stuff like of like uh, lions. This is all the, like that scroll saw work, right? See his little cuts in there? Look at those little cuts right here. Like this, this, hey, that looks like a killer whale right there. Look, his eyes, his fin, his bottom fin, his mouth. So that's what you get when you get stuff like this. It looks like a native, it looks like the Canucks killer whale. But you get stuff like this, things start popping out to you. But beautiful job on the Lynchburg too, Kev, uh, uh, Kevin. And uh, my buddy Pete put the, Kev sent it to me. It wasn't together. So Pete mounted it for me and stuff. So thanks again for that, Pete. But uh, Kev, I really love it, man. And it's a real piece of art. So you guys check out his uh, Facebook and um, Signature Wood Creations on Instagram too. And thanks again, Kev. It's going to be seen on uh, lots and lots and lots of my future videos and uh, I really love this custom piece, and it will, well, it will get buried with me when my time's up. So thanks again, man. I really love it. Love it. Get the Lynchburg in there. Good job. Thanks again. Okay, guys. So what I'm going to be carving today is this, this will be like a root stump, right? So the roots would be here and then the tree would grow up this way. It was a young tree. I have no type of, no idea the type of wood. I'm thinking maybe it was a young birch tree because it's pretty white wood. It's fairly soft. I already cleaned this up stuff up with my uh, jigsaw, just cut these little branches off. So this isn't going to be a long video. Um, I'm just going to show some little clips and some key points really basically I've made lots of wood spirit videos So you guys don't need to see me how to carve a wood spirit, but I got these knots here So that's carving with against the grain Right, so this would be carving against the grain here here and here, but no big deal. We've got this cuts all burr My go-to burrs look at follow the description below how to get these got uh, carving burrs This is a 1 8 and it's going to go on the Dremel 40 uh, 4000 flex shaft so um, yeah, so it's going to be a wood spirit here. I left these roots here. Maybe his hair can kind of come around on this part here. Like his hair will fold around there. And I'll try to attempt to put an eagle head in this part. So yeah, so on with the games. I'm just going to do some carving. I'll clean up and I'll stop at key points and show you guys my progress and stuff like that. And um, you know, things that I, I'll talk about things that I think might help the new uh, wood carvers out there that are watching these videos. And uh, guys, you know, like walking this is a walking stick right so you can put a time a lot of time into walking sticks like my buddy just carved rob there check out his youtube channel he does some walking sticks and he puts like i don't know like over 100 hours into each one but they're they're not really i don't really enjoy carving them so i don't want to put too much time into it so like i would carve this walking stick maybe and uh, the handle will be here and just maybe clean up the wood a bit but then you know i'd sell it for 100 bucks so well, whatever. I don't even know what I'd sell it for, but whatever. If I'd even sell it, maybe I'll just give it away. Maybe I'll use it. 
I'm getting up there in age. I'm going to have to start using walking sticks myself. Just shut up, Jordy, and start curving, I guess. Okay, guys, so I got it cleaned up. Okay, I got my center light on here. So like I said in my other videos, some of my other videos, it's always good to clean up your wood before you start carving so you can see what kind of treasures you get inside or nightmares, right? So you can see some cracks there. That's okay, I can live with those. They add character. You know, I have even, I'm five foot ten and a half, so I'm gonna carve a little handle in there where I where I stand. I cleaned up the bottom so I can I know that there's no major cracks in there. So if I do sell it to somebody, it's not gonna crack and split out, you know. It's pretty solid there. So I'm not gonna spend too much time on this, guys. I just it, walking sticks just aren't my thing. You can spend a long, long time on these walking sticks. You sure can. So this is just going to be a quick carve. Eagle head's going to come off here. And, uh, so anyways, what I'm going to do is carve the wood spirit in here now. So you can see all this here. That's all bark because that, that, that branch used to come out like this, right? Pretend this pen's a branch. It used to come out this way. And there was one there too. And then one here. So, but that's bark. I don't know how deep that's going to go in there. Okay. So how I'm going to incorporate that bark into this piece is I'm going to put the wood spirit's nose this is going to be his nose right here. Okay. So this is going to be his nose. Now. It, okay, so his, this is just a, we'll give him a spinning mustache. Like spinning around the, spinning around the stick coming down. But so now I got to carve so deep below this nose here, right? I got to carve that way deep. Hopefully I'm going to carve this up. Uh, this bark out, this rot stuff out in here, right? When I carve it. So anyways, I'm not gonna film carving this. You guys can go to my playlist. There's lots of tutorials on how to carve wood spirits. And I'm sure lots of you guys are getting bored with me carving wood spirits. So anyways, I'm gonna carve this out. This hair is gonna go up these branches. And then uh, we'll talk more. Well, I'll just come back if I think there's a key point that uh, I'll come back if I'm having an issue with this part here, okay? Actually, I should bring the nose down. No, I think that nose is a safe place is where it's at. Okay, so this is what I got done so far. So there you can see I was talking about the bark going in the wood. Well, look how it kind of, it started out right here, right? And then it came up under. So this wood nose is going to, I'm going to kind of leave it the way it is. You know, not too much detail. Um, I got some of the hair carved in. Do I like carving this wood? No, hate it. Can't stand it. It's fuzzy. Oh yeah, I got the handle kind of carved in. I got some things carved there. But it's real fuzzy wood. Look at that, guys. So, yeah, no. So when I start carving a wood that I can't stand, like if it's not a challenge, like the hardest wood in the world, or if I don't, if it's a piece of shit wood that I'm carving, once I get into it, like I don't enjoy it, then I just don't, uh, like look at this shit. Look how fuzzy this shit is. Okay, that, that's what I call, that's, this, this is what I call fuzzy wood. I got a huge pile of it over there. And um, so what I'm going to do is hurry up and, and try and finish this piece. But I still got to carve the eagle's head in here too, unfortunately. So maybe that's what I'll do now, is uh, do that. And my eagle heads are, my eagles are just kind of like my own style eagles. If they turn out to be an eagle, they do. If they turn out to be a seagull, they do. If they turn out to be a parrot, they do. If they turn out to be a goddamn little mouse on a stick, it does. So whatever. I'm just going to carve the eagle head. Bye. Mm -hmm.
okay so kind of the eagle this like this side is okay but then this side this isn't a very pe good piece of wood guys like i said earlier so i'm not having a good time with this and i've figured out i think it's a young douglas fir i can tell by that grain there kind of and it's got an orangey color inside of it so yeah it's just a it's just a young uh douglas fir obviously it wasn't a very strong tree well whatever might have been who knows i'm not insulting the tree look it could be an eagle head right there too so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to um cut all the hairs in with this uh aluminum cutting burr that i got on the eagle blended into the beard hairs for the wizard all up here all down here i won't film that but um yeah so i'll just get that done and uh, oh yeah i got some bullshit carved in the handle here and I clean these up, I sanded those lines up too. But yeah, I can see in that green there that this is uh, Douglas fir. Just by the orangish color that it that kind of gives off. Looks like a grenade. So, whatever. Is what it is. Not everyone's your best, guys. Okay, guys. So here's what we got. It's all right. I didn't spend too much time on it just because I think what triggered me on this piece was that piece of bark under there. So I was like, ah, really, I don't really care too much about it. So I didn't spend too much time. Okay, but I sat it up and there's your little silly little handle and those swirls there. Okay, so once again, I'm using my uh, poly shade. This is poly shade, uh, sorry, Minwax poly shade. The can's open and I'm spilling it all over the place, but... So I put this on, like all my other videos, I got two different colors here. <clears throat> Excuse me. And um, then I wipe it off with the rag. And then when it's still wet, I hit it with my uh, flap sander. So let's uh, put this on. So what my idea is kind of make the eagle and the wood spirit two different colors. But who knows. I love this stuff, guys. I Like I... You know, you, you you come to some, you find something that you love, so just go with it, right? I don't know. That's the way I think, anyways. Okay, so that's done. Yeah, this looks like a piece of shit, but whatever. I don't care. Somebody will like it. Okay, so now I'm gonna put the. Uh, I don't even care, care about cleaning my paintbrush off. Now I'm going to put it all on this uh, wood spirit. This is more of a red color, a mahogany color. So, okay, guys, so I'm going to finish this, and then um, I'll show you what it's like when it's done. No sense in watching this boring, boring stuff. Okay. Okay, guys, so there's a wrap on, on this one. Thank God. Um, whatever. It is what it is. You know, so, excuse me, I didn't like work, sign your pieces, even if you think it sucks. I didn't like working on this piece from the, the beginning once I noticed that uh, bark in there, but I could have carved deeper. But, you know, like, just because you don't like your piece doesn't mean your friends won't like it. So, you know what I mean? This is this is, uh, this is why I don't like carving the walking sticks or the canes, because they're hard to take a picture of and hard to film. And actually, why I don't like work, because they're hard to... When I was carving this, it was hard to move around and get to certain points. And I like carving smaller pieces when I'm here at my table because I can move it around, turn it upside down. Chainsaw carving is not that bad because you, you can go all the way 360 around it. Well, I can't go 360 around this piece, right? So that's why I'm not a really huge fan of carving these walking sticks. So anyways, I'll probably just uh, give this, gift this to one of my family members. They could put it in the corner of their house and, you know, in a room, just put it in a corner and there it sits. You know, just a silly old spirit eagle root ball walking stick. What do I like about this piece the best? I probably just like that grain color there. That's about it. You know, it's neat. But uh, other than that, I really, I really don't care for it. That's kind of, that's kind of nice. But whatever. I just really don't care for it. And once again, I don't care for making walking sticks because, uh, well, they're just like. Uh, they're just like, uh, I don't know, not fun for me to carve. So, guys, hope you're all good, and uh, we'll talk to you soon. Take care, walking stick makers. <laughs>